Alright guys, so here we go again. This is uh, going to be the second match again at Grappling Industries. Uh, let's get right into it. So, um, I didn't know the guy, but I found out later that one of the guys I work with went to high school with this guy. Um, so, he was real nice. He added me on Facebook after, so he's a cool guy. Um, he shoved me. <laughs> kind of like looked at him like, what the fuck you doing? Uh, I pull guard again. Uh, this time I think I get caught a little bit in half guard, so I have to like work my way. I'm trying to tilt my body to the right uh, to shrimp that right leg that's stuck underneath him. So I like fake the guillotine to make him stand up and make him react. And uh, I get the De La Hiva, so my left foot is working pretty good there. Um, but again, he's controlling my pants. He's controlling and he's sitting down. But see, see how I'm not letting him put his hip on the floor? I'm putting my knee... Uh, right where he wants to be and when he wants to sit down I'm just threatening to roll under him so he's controlling my pants so I can't put tension on him I can't like push him back but he also can't knee slide or anything so he see he's trying to lean back on his right hip but I, I've got his foot and see my left hand comes up and I'm gonna roll under him right here and see see I, I should have come at the, on top there there's nothing holding him I should have just, like, engaged with him and get a grip on him and just, like, get a good tight top control. But instead, I, I let him run away. I still feel like I, I got the better of that exchange. You know, I, I started on bottom, got on top, and he had to run away. But, I don't know. Maybe that's not how people saw it. So, again, I, I jump guard. I go back to De La Hiva. I did, it did a good job. See how I'm holding his knee? I'm fucking up his knee right here. Just to get my guard back. That guy can't knee slide. He tries, I think, like, in slow-mo. Look at how badly his knee's bent. I just hold him until he, like, there's so much tension. He has to lift that out of the leg. And he does, and I get my guard back as soon as he does. My point wasn't to hurt him or anything here. I was just honestly trying to not let him knee slide. And, uh... Yeah, just get my guard back. Um, again, it's, this is one of those boring matches. This happens a lot in the Gi. But, you know, it's one guy is in the other guy's guard. And nothing much happens. And, uh, you know, I feel like this is one of those matches. So, he's uh, being super tight. See how he's not even trying to stand up. He's just um, putting his hands there. You know, he's... He put his right foot on the mat there, but he's not really trying to stand up. He's just trying to stack me or something. So I'm I'm opening my guard up. I'm like I'm try actually actively trying uh, to find submissions. I got a little more comfortable off my back uh, than the first match because I don't know. I I guess I was trying to you know prove that I could work off my back. So I go for some kind of weird um, rubber guard here. I'm trying to keep my right foot active, but I'm trying to. See, I'm trying to pick up his elbow, his right elbow. I'm, like, picking at it. I'm trying to find an opening, but he's being, like, super tight. And, I don't know, he's been doing too much curls at the gym because he's not letting me get into that space. Um, I did work on it, though. You know, I, I worked with uh, uh, shout out to Coach Gigi for, for teaching me a trick on, in that position to get that hand open and, and maybe work... Uh, the the opening of the arm there but uh at that point i didn't know it so I, I was stuck and i grabbed my hands together and again you know i'm trying just to hold him and trying to figure out how to sway my body to like get my legs working because he's stacking my hips and he's holding my hips in between his knees uh so there's not like he's uh trapping my movement you know uh, i i can't move the way i want to move and uh Oh, see, uh, I go for a nice butterfly, uh, not butterfly, um, uh, whatchamacallit, whatever, that, that sweep, that sweep where you grab the knee and go for the armbar, I think, uh, I should probably revise this, I should know this, but I don't, forgot the name of that sweep, I think, uh, uh flower sweep, I think it's just called the flower sweep. See again here, I go for the rubber guard, but again, I'm picking at his elbow. I can't figure shit out. You know, I, I'm like trying to catch him by surprise, but I'm, I'm, I'm not. You know, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm uh, being a little more uh, predictive than I thought. You know, he can 
So here he stands up. I think I'm going to open my guard because it's putting a lot of pressures on my, on my ankles. And yeah, I end up opening my guard, but he, he, I've got two long legs and I'm too flexible and too agile for him to, to get in on this. So I'm just like keeping him at bay and I'm at, like, here, I just re-jump guard. I could have stand up, stood up, but, you know, that would be if I wanted to get on top or, you know, but I was comfortable off my back here. You know, there's nothing he would do while he's in my guard, at least. So I just jumped uh, guard again. I'm looking at the time because right there he scored an advantage. Um, so he's, uh, I think he, I was leading. I think the score was tied up. We have like advantage to advantage or something. I'm trying to do a scissor sweep here, but it's not working out. We got a solid base. Here I go for, uh, I think I'm going for the, 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 the tripod sweep because I got my left foot on his hip and my right foot. Oh, there you go. There, I try for it, but he, he's got good balance. It's here we see in slow-mo. So I have it, my left foot on his hip. I, I do get him, but he manages to recover just in time. And, you know, mat space, I, I, I shove him off, you know, I try and, and, and prove that I got him. But, uh, you know, he did a good job of uh, staying on his feet. So I got an advantage for that. So I think it, we're all tied up here. So he pulls guard. There's about 20 seconds left or 10 seconds left of the fight. So I figure I got to pass. Like I said, I'm not the best at the top, but he's not the best off his back. So I managed to get my knee through. I go in, I, I drive, I drive, and that's how the match ends. So I get an advantage for that. And uh, that's the way I got the, the victory. As I said, it wasn't the most exciting match. You know, I barely got this. Um, guy's a super nice guy. I don't really see. I, I hold his hand up because, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty much tight at this point. But, um, you know, I, I walked out of this with the W. I think I was more active in the guard. I, I, I think I missed it, but I, I remember him getting a penalty for stalling. So for, for not being active. Um, while he uh, he was in my guard, so he got a penalty for that, and uh, you know I would have won on penalties if I didn't score that advantage, but uh, I ended up uh, scoring the advantage. So you know that was match number two, and uh, again I'm just doing this for my own recollection, and uh, hope uh, you guys enjoy it as much as I do. And uh, as always, have fun.